What is going on everybody? It is Mattitude22 here today with another figure review. Today we're looking at the WWE Elite Series 50 Warlord figure by Mattel. Now looking at this figure, it is all in the accessories because overall there's not a lot to talk about with this guy. The face definitely is pretty good. They did an okay job. Very, uh, they did, they did a very generic job. He looks like a generic bald guy with a uh, beard, but overall it looks not too bad. And he's got the black wrist tape. Not a lot going on there. I do like the design on his trunks and his uh, knee pads and the boots. That all looks okay, and they did a really, they did a really nice job painting all that. Sorry, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to zoom in on his, on his crotch, but I, that all does look really good. I'm, I'm actually just noticing uh, that looks like a skull. Is it supposed to? I can't, I can't say I'm super familiar with this uh, wrestler. This was definitely before my time, but that looks like a skull. I don't know if it's supposed to. Let, me, if, if you know. Let me know in the comments because if that is supposed to be a skull, then it looks really good. And if not, it looks pretty cool anyway. And uh, different separate designs on the knee pads. Again, don't really know if that's supposed to mean anything or if it's just how it is. Again, if you know, let me know. So I was looking at accessories. He comes with this Warlord belt. Not a lot going on there as far as... Uh, paint it's all just sculpted in this silver in this silver color but it does look okay you could see a lot of rivets and stuff going on or it was supposed to be rivets i don't know what the belt was actually made out of but it does look pretty good and it is it is removable i just kept it on for the sake of this review and uh do it a little bit different we'll do accessories first today he comes with his trademark staff that looks okay it is warped from being in the package and it does say china right across it can you see that can you see that it, it, it says china so yes uh this is kind of warped in that direction but that does look okay and you, you can get them to hold it okay other accessories he comes with this these are the shoulder pads or the chest piece and that just kind of fits on over his head easily removable again it looks nice not a lot going on not a lot with paint i don't think this had any paint on it though to be honest and the chains look okay so that's okay and it is a it is a nice soft rubber so that won't give you any problems there and he comes with his warlord mask and that just goes on like that and again it looks good the little sculpted on thunderbolt molded thunderbolt that looks very nice i like that fits on him well black strap and again pretty much just molded in this silver silver plastic but it does look or uh, silver or rubber but it does look very nice looking at this guy's articulation the head goes side to side looks a little bit up not not down very very much ab crunch Gets a good amount of back, moves as far back as you could possibly want. And I, I guess down, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for down, right? I think so. Waist twist works fine. I do. I did mention the belt was a separate removable piece, but so that does not inhibit the waist twist at all. Ball, standard ball peg joints for the shoulders. And this one's a little stiff, but they do work upper um, he's got the upper arm rotation right there. It's Mattel, so single jointed elbows. That's, that's what you're going to get. Wrist hinge and wrist rotation is good. Pretty much your uh, double ball peg for the hips. You can see it right there. Ball there, ball there. Uh, that, that didn't come out right. I'm sorry for that. He's got the upper leg rotation, single jointed knee, pretty good range of motion for having the knee pad and the ankles, they do 
hinge forward and back okay and yeah the ankles hinge rocker is a uh, pretty good too so overall i like this guy i say he's i say he's worth a pickup definitely hope we get a barbarian at, at some point i think i think that was his tag team partner was it the barbarian I, th I think it was if i'm wrong to let me know in the comments but hopefully we will get his tag team partner and if not this is still a pretty great figure so thank you guys again for watching and please like this video leave a comment i, I like hearing from you guys leave a comment Hit that subscribe button and share this video and I will be back next time with another figure review. Peace.